Okay, so I just finished Burial with Sea Part 2, and I am honestly awestruck. I, you guys may remember I thought the first episode was a tad disappointing. This is one of the best DLCs I've ever played. I It just... I've heard actually a lot of people say that this is the last Bioshock-related story that we're getting, because Irrational Games, you know, there are no more. And granted, I think 2K is probably going to continue the franchise... You know, it is quite possible that it will end here. And if it does, they went out on a high note, I gotta say. Um, the ending to this DLC, honestly, I it's not just like, man, t I, it, I didn't just like get a little choked up. No, I was full on crying. And that hasn't happened. I mean, The Last of Us, I got pretty emotional, but I haven't been touched this much. Because I, I've just been so attached to this Bioshock pretty much since the beginning. Uh, I I loved the first one. I liked the second one. Thought it was a little bit disappointing, but really in this DLC, everything comes full circle. And I am going to spoil the ending uh, of the DLC, so if you don't like spoilers, stop watching now, because I will spoil it. In the ending, Elizabeth does die. Yeah. And I that really made me tear up. And it's not like... You know, Booker dying, where there could just be another alternate version out of him anywhere. Elizabeth is prob is the only one left. Because at the end of Bioshock Infinite, all the other Elizabeth were erased. And she is now dead. And that was so emotional. It's honestly kind of short. And really silent, except for the music. But it, it really works. And this is honestly the perfect conclusion. I am satisfied. If this is the last Bioshock story that we're getting, I'm, I'm fine with that. Like, it, it, the way it tied into the first one, I knew it would tie into it somewhat, but I didn't know it would literally just be right after this, the first one takes place. Uh, and just like the song at the end and everything, this, the DLC was very emotional. And it was, like they said, it was the wrap-up for the whole Bioshock saga. And I didn't think just a simple DLC could do that, especially after the first episode being a disappointment. I'm never going to doubt these guys again, uh, because I, I'm going to admit I was skeptical after the first episode, but man, this this was amazing. I There's no word to describe it. Um, and for this DLC, I'm actually going to give it a 10 out of 10. It's amazing. And it kind of sucks that Bioshock is now over, but you know what? If it's over, they went out on a high note. So, Stick 1-1, signing out.